Hey there guys, I've gotten a few requests to show um, an example full bonus farming team for the Lord of Jewels. So we're going to be doing a few farming teams on this guy. We're going to start with the new player account and showing a way to do it um, in two turns with this clear. Then we're going to jump over to my main account and we'll show you know a more powerful way to do it in like one turn. Um, if you've got better units. But for the new player account, uh, I can't quite kill it on turn one easily because I don't have, you know, the best gear, the best, uh, honestly, more than the gear, I don't have the utility stuff like Tulian's TMR, which would make it a little bit easier to OTK. Anyway, we're going to do a two turn clear, which is very, very easy. You can still basically just repeat your way to victory. Um, but I'm going to show you the way I'm going to be doing this on the new player account. Then we'll jump over to the uh, the main account for some more power. Uh, anyhow, so we're going to use from an item, Relieving Song. This is a 300% stat buff for the party. We're going to stick that on Papoy so that we can just get a nice stat buff on turn one. Rebeat, we'll go ahead and do 1,000 Needles. This is so that we just take less damage from the AoE on turn one because we're not going to OTK. Amarant is classified as a breaker. I gave him the breaker material I do happen to own, which is the light breaker. Unfortunately, that's the wrong element, but it is an 85% break for turn one. Hawkeye will go ahead and do a fire imperil for us. It's slightly better than what we could get from an Esper. And then we're going to ch just ch chain up Sukiko. So Lord of Light will just triple Bolting Strike while wearing a fire weapon. And Sukiko will triple Fox's Karma Firestorm. Now the Earth skills would technically be better to do. But I don't have an Earth weapon to give to Lord of Light. So I couldn't Elemental Chain. So we're going with fire. Fire works fine as well. So we're going to do more than half on turn one. There we go. So here's some AoE attacks. We're going to Mirage the first one. The second one will hit the party. It'll kill our three stars. That's totally fine. They're bonus units. They did their job. Anyway, and now we just reload and chain it up again. And that is how we, you know, pretty simply farm the Lord of Jewels. Now, that being said, I recommend if you want your max efficiency, don't do your farming until after you get Lord of Light's EX3 from Login Rewards. I think that'll happen Saturday will be the last Login Shards, and then Lord of Light can get EX3. And that'll give you, um, you know, more bonus. That's what I'm gonna do. The, that's when I'm gonna do the bulk of my farming uh, for this stuff because you know you get more bonus. And Suhiko did all the damage. No point in showing her damage report. And anyway, uh, so let's see here. Um, I'll show you the team's gear and all that. So let's see here. So for Papoy, just just a random bonus unit. They, they, this is my max bonus on the new player account. You know, we got the one free collaboration Neo. I got Hawkeye. Uh, as people pointed out, his shards were available for free, so he's EX1. We've got the free login of Lord of Light. Uh, we got, I think these were free pulls or free gifts, the Papoy and Rabit. And then um, Amarant from last event. And then we've got uh, Sukiko because I pulled her. Anyway, so on just a random bonus unit, we're going to give Conscious TMR, which is a relieving song. It's a turn one AoE 300% stat buff. Now it does cost 300 mana to cast. So make sure if you're using like a really low end uh, three star, you give them some mana gear so they actually have 300 mana to cast that. Repeat. Just Thousand Needles because we're not killing on turn one. It'll make us take less damage on turn one, make it easier to survive. Uh, Amarant is just using a break. If you don't have a breaker materia, um, you could just give him something like, uh, or anyone, something like Obsidian Bracer, and that'll work fine as well. But, you know, we're using an 85 break. Uh, and again, Tulian's TMR would be better for the bigger Earth in Peril. But because I don't have Tulian's TMR, we're going to use Hawkeye as just a big fire in Peril. Uh, it's the only reason, 120 fire in peril, it just saves time. Then Lord of Light is just using uh, a fire weapon. And again, if I had an earth weapon, I'd give him that, but I don't have one with this account. Uh, and he does support change, his triple bolting strike skill. Make sure he's higher in the party order than uh, your other chainer. And then Sukiko in the shift form is chaining. So she's decently geared. So evocation, we're not doing LB, so you don't need LB damage. There's the build we're using, and she is capped on both of the Esper stats and chain cap up. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop over to the main account where we're going to do um, one or two clears. 
uh, showing you, you know, a quicker way to do this. See you in a second. Alright guys, now we're on the main account and we're going to be doing um, a turn one farm team. So this is my best bonus units for the main account. Again, we've got Amaranth, Lord of Light uh, from Free Stuff and the Rebeat. Um, I went ahead and got myself a Flamy, you saw the other day, so he's a bonus unit. Uh, Duran was my free pull. I'm not even going to bother EX1 him. And then um, Sukiko is going to, once again, be the primary carry with Amaranth. And we're going to go for a turn one clear, and I'll show you the gear in a moment. And again, just, just like the earlier, um, the new player stuff, if you can't do it in one turn, just like break the boss, use Mirage, and you'll be fine. So Flammy is classified as a breaker, so he can equip break materials. We're going to use Tulian's TMR. I do have it on this account. Once again, Rabit is going to do a relieving song. Lord of Light, not going to contribute. Uh, Duran, with Irene's Ring on an Esper, is going to quad cast Stonera, which is Bolting Strike. Amarant is going to quad Normal Attack, Bolting Strike. And we're just going to cap that with um, Sukiko's LB. Now, Sukiko can pretty much carry this by herself. The boss has, yeah, the boss has 800,000 HP, um, or 800 million or something. Yeah, 800 million. Uh, we did 1.1 billion. So, yeah, we overkilled it by 300 required, plus the contribution from Amarant. Um, my Amarant is not, like, door potted and all that, so I don't really have the best setup on him. But again, he, but he can actually carry it by himself if you really need to. So there's the turn one clear. Um, yeah, so we did 1.1 on Sukiko or 1.18. We only needed 0.8 to do uh, to do it do an OTK. So overkilled and Amarant helped a little bit. So if your Sukiko is not like EX3, then Amarant will be a decent chunk. Um, so there it is. There's the the quick way to farm the fight. So I'll show you the gear. So Flammy is just uh, you know Earthbreaker and make sure you can have enough mana to cast it. Uh, Rabit is, again, enough mana to cast it. Relieving Song for the turn one buff. Lord of Light didn't contribute. Duran, just Irony's Ring on an Esper for Stonera because it's Bolting Strike chain. That way we can quad Bolting Strike. Uh, Amarant is quad attacking with an Earth Weapon um, to chain. So quad wield. Uh, his TMR, Yeti Combat Style, Earth Killer. Uh, 6200 attack. We got the dual wield card on him. Um... So Stone Killer, Max Stone Killer, and yeah, you know he's not door potted or anything, so whatever. Uh, and then Sukiko is just you know a big boy damage. Uh, here it is, so you know 10,500 attack power and max on everything. She has a X3, like I said. This is the more powerful account, and there it is. So if you can't kill it on turn one, for example, add um, like thousand needles to Lord of Light, and do thousand needles on turn one, and then just do it again on turn two. Okay, there's the farming video, as a few of you have requested. So, but again, I'm not doing my real farming until Lord of Light is EX3, because he will give uh, more bonus drops, and that'll happen something like sometime next week. No rush for this. The gear isn't anything extremely, like, must-have day one. Anyhow, see you in a bit.